Hey, how's it going my Rusty friends? In this video we're going to go over how to make strobe lights and we're also going to go over how to make the strobe circuit, different ways to make strobe circuits, and a few applications of the strobe circuit, including a trap base idea that I've come up with. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I have a little strobe circuit set up here. So what's going to happen is, when I turn this on, we get a repeating on-off. What this does is that when we connect our strobe circuit to any kind of electronic, it's going to repeatedly turn on and off. That's because the blocker is repeatedly getting blocked and opened over and over. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off now. This kind of lowers our dependency on the normal strobe light that we have in-game. Um, these aren't very flexible. You can't turn them on and off with switches or pressure plates or anything. So they're not as flexible and I don't really like them. As you can see, it's 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 much more flexible. You could you could rig this up in almost any way that you wanted. Um, if somebody passes through a door, they could trigger this and it'd be really a nice addition to like maybe a like a haunted house or something that you want to do. Okay, so we're going to go over how to make this strobe circuit. So we're going to put down our power source, we're going to put down a switch, and we're going to connect the two. And the main power out of the switch is going to go directly into the power in of the blocker. The power out of the blocker is going to go into the power in of the branch. We're going to make the branch out of the branch go into the block pass through of the blocker, and there, that's it. We have a strobe circuit. And now, if I just slap down a light, let me pull one up in my inventory really quick. We can see that we now have a strobe light. And this one we can control, we can turn off, we can rig it to whatever we want. We could rig it to a timer, we could rig it to a pressure plate and a timer, whatever you wanted to do. I have a nifty little idea too, because you also can rig them to a door, just like with any electronic. If you were wanted to do a little game or something, like a parkour type of thing, and they have to jump around, and there's traps everywhere, and they have to get through a door, and they have to time their jump correctly, I just fucking died. So, yeah. There's a little, neat little application to that, you know, have a little door. So, other more... Mm, more primitive uh, strobe circuits that I came up with while on the way to developing the more simpler one is this kind of one, which uses a splitter and a blocker. This one has power in going into the blocker and then going, the blocker's power out goes into the splitter. And then you have one output of the splitter go into the block pass through of the blocker, which will then make the other two outputs of the splitter uh, strobe. Um, I tend not to use splitters because they're kind of a waste of power. They have some, some good cases where you should use them. But mostly I just use blockers. Um, so then the next one we have is we have a memory cell and a blocker. This is my first strobe circuit. This is how I uh, ended up discovering how to do this. Um, it's a little more complicated. It, I'm not really going to go over it because the more simple blocker and branch does the same exact thing minus the headache of learning how to use the memory cell. Um, I'm not going to go over how to use the memory cell. I'll do that in another video. Uh, two memory cells, again, it's the same thing as this one and the first one. Um, too complicated, does the same thing as the simple one, not going to go over it. Um, a neat one is the, um, the branch and the memory cell strobe circuit. These will give you alternating strobes. So you get alternating power on and power offs. This could be neat because you could potentially layer up and chain a bunch of memory cells 
to have a big old chain of alternating lights or something like that, which might be cool. Um, a little more complicated, but still not too bad. This is the traditional, this is my favorite one. This is just a simple block branch. So that is your strobe circuit. Over here I have a trap base that I've set up. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is a cherry on top in terms of my trap base ideas because it is just, it is crazy. This trap base has the potential to potato somebody's computer. It is pretty gnarly. So uh, it's completely normal, you know, you walk in, there's nothing too obvious, whatever. They have some lights set up, you can have some furnaces, some chests to bait people in here. But what happens is when you walk through here and see that, that fucking mess, well, we would rig this door to shut behind them and these lights to turn on automatically. So um, fair warning, this is going to be pretty gnarly. It's going to be really bright. It's going to be flashing repeatedly. So uh, yeah, I warned you. Uh, as you can see, my computer is suffering. Yeah, you can see how if somebody was locked in here, they would be lagging so hard they would most likely just kill themselves because there's no way out. Uh, it's really annoying. It's a headache. It's making their computer lag. They won't have time to think. If your GPU can handle it, you could potentially just jump down and kill them really quick because they're going to be so distraught. They're not going to know what to do. They're not going to know what's happening. I've never seen a trap base on this. Uh, this idea, I've searched YouTube. There's nothing on it. No one is going to know what this is and they're not going to know what to do. So you could, if they don't kill themselves first, you can kill them very easily if your GPU can handle it. And so yeah, we have our strobe circuits. It's a really nifty idea. I really like it. There's not too much application to rust. I mean, you, you can... You can control doors, you can control lights, and you kind of just let SAM turrets do their own thing. There's not too much to do with electricity, but I really like it, and I plan on doing tutorials on how to do all sorts of stuff with electricity. I've learned how to do a lot of electricity, so if you guys want me to do tutorials on anything specific, like how to do this to your base, how to do that to your base, just go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll go ahead and do that for you, because I can pretty much do whatever you want. So yeah, have fun you guys.